Hello and welcome to the show. Now, there are plenty of hypercars when it comes to Forza Horizon 4, and while these are not necessarily always my thing, there is an interesting selection of them, and naturally, we wanted to find out which one was going to be fastest, but we're not just talking about the usual expected one, because there are many more fun ones outside of the 918, the McLaren P1, and the LaFerrari things, like the Zenvo, with the very wobbly wing. My personal favourite uh, is the Apollo. It's mad. Honestly, it's a little bit down on power compared to quite a few of the cars in this field, which is weird to say about a 700 horsepower machine, but I love the Apollo. It is a wonderful, wacky, weird... I want it in purple carbon fibre with gold wheels. I mean, look at it. It is brilliant. It is not to everyone's taste. I do understand that much, but it's a wonderful, wonderful, mad machine. Uh, and there are, you know, all sorts of hypercars along these lines. And then you have, well, I'll say a little bit more conventional. I say that about 1,800 horsepower and a Rimac. Uh, <laughs> the Concept 2 is here in Horizon 4 as well. We have a fantastic selection of weird and wonderful, unbelievably fast road cars. So naturally, the best thing that we could think to do was to take a selection of them, put them together, uh, go through a series of tests to see which vehicles would be coming out on top. And I was hoping for the wobbly wing machine, to be honest with you. So, here we are on the grid for our first race with the hypercars. I'm going to be representing the Zenvo with the wobbly wing, the TSRS. I do quite like the Zenvo. I like the original Zenvo. It was terrible, but I liked it. Um, and this one is actually quite good, and it has a funny movie wing, which is always entertaining. Uh, cars to watch out for, the Apollo, mighty grippy. The Senna, also very, very grippy. Um, I'm not sure about the rest, how the rest are going to fare in this one. Some of the all-wheel drive cars are going to launch like crazy. The Rimac is going to be unbelievably fast in a straight line, but there are corners to deal with. Uh, well, as off goes the Rimac and the uh, Lamborghini from the get-go. The Senna's already going to get past me as we make the most of Ghost Mode to take the uh, LaFerrari. We have got more straight line speed than the Senna. I did not know that. That is curious. Uh, this is where the Rimac is going to hate life, and this is where the Senna is very good. I don't have the grip that the Senna does. Um, oh, I understeer quite a lot in the Zenvo, not as much as the £4,000 Rimac. Although, the Rimac's buggered off down the straight. Dear God, that looks like he's in a different class to me. That's ridiculous. Although it's having a really big accident, it gets to the next corner. Hello, Rimac. Uh, can I pass the Rimac quickly? You can see how much more speed I can get through this corner than that Rimac, but it's not going to matter when we get out the other side, although the Rimac's going to have to have a big lift. I'm flat out through there, we bang doors a little bit. These are million pounds. In, oh, this is why we can do this in Forza, because these are, pri well, not priceless, but many, many millions of pounds worth of hypercar, and there was a little bit of light contact uh, <laughs> between them coming out of that corner. Can I chase down a Senna? Probably not. Uh, apparently the Senna can be a little bit twitchy at times, so it's, you can make mistakes with the car, it's just it's got more turn in than I do in the Zenvo, although Ewan has made a little mistake on the exit there. This is where we might actually get the run in this Zenvo. It, as I said, the Zenvo is not slow. The first one might have been a little bit difficult to drive at times, as we've just gone soaring around the outside of a Senna, although the Senna is very good under brakes for that corner. Uh, I just didn't trust my car. <laughs> I didn't trust my car on the outside. I did actually not expect Ewan to quite have the grip to make that one stick, but it did with that uh, mighty McLaren. Uh, oh, we're going to slide. I just got a bit of a twitch across the grass in all of that. Let's uh, get slow down. You can just see how well the centre turns through that first corner. The car I am worried about uh, a little bit is the Apollo. I think it's stuck in traffic. Uh, I do know I love the Apollo. It's one of my favourite of the modern, probably my favourite of the modern hypercars. If I'm honest, sorry, Zenvo, you might be second in this in that contest. Uh, the Apollo is unbelievably grippy. It does struggle with a lack of straight line speed though, uh, which means it. If it's stuck in traffic, it might be having a tough time. I made a bit of a mess of that corner this time around. Uh, what have we got behind us? It is uh, <laughs> Rimac still in second ahead of the Devo. Uh, then there is the Regera in that mix. There is an Regera RS as well. The Regera is unbelievably fast in a straight line, of course, but uh, a real handful through the corners. It's a real big handful through the corners. Uh, oh, Ewan's got it a little wide out of that corner. Sadly, I'm not quite close enough to capitalise on the centre, making a little bit of a mistake there. We've got a few more laps to try and do something. But I think it's going to be a little bit of just a watching brief for us here. Uh, waiting, trying to see if there's going to be any mistakes from that centre, if we can 
profit from them. I mean, most... I'll tell you what I'm hoping for. My best bet is the center has an issue through this corner. It's the... If, it's, if it has trouble getting onto this back straight and I can make the most of my momentum. Uh, the Rimac is doing well. It looks like there's a really big fight going on behind. It's the fight for kind of fourth place and back that is probably going to spill over to, well, chasing down that Rimac, uh, given half a chance. Uh, it saw a little puff of smoke from that centre as it went through these corners. Now, top speed-wise, I'm not actually sure what the centre's top speed is. Uh, all the downforce. I mean, this is the thing with these cars, things like the Zenvo. I might have 1,100 horsepower in this, but it is a little bit more downforce than we got from the original one. 240 miles an hour is what the uh, benchmark expects the top speed to be in this car. Whether it's actually going to be able to do that, and let's face it, that's nowhere near enough when you have the likes of the Agera, the Regera, the Rimac, all of those incredibly, incredibly quick cars in this. Oh, we're going to fly through this section. I'm just losing that little bit of ground a lap at the moment to the, to the center. We're definitely pulling away from the cars behind it. A huge fight, 4th, 5th, and 6th are all very, very close together. The Apollo's overtaken the Regera. I remember my Conan segs correctly. Uh, yeah, so as soon as we get that straight, we just reel in that couple of tenths, and then we get to the corners, and we lose a little bit more. It's only a smidge. We're not very far away from being able to match the center for pace. It's just not quite enough. Uh, if I could have kept that pass, if I could have kept ahead when I did, I could have maybe made it really difficult for the McLaren, but it was a good, it was a good dive by Ewan to reclaim the position. And as it is, I think we're going to be too far back. We saw the center make a little, a little, it's agonizingly close, this Zenvo. Agonizingly close to catching that McLaren. It's just not going to quite be enough as we head around this long corner. Uh, Ewan does get it a little bit wrong this time around. Uh, this, the Zenvo has remarkable traction for all of this power. 1,100 horsepower, rear-wheel drive car. You can jump on the throttle surprisingly early here and carry a lot more speed than you would think on the exit of these corners. I expect it to be a lunatic drift machine. You can see, you was actually having more trouble with the Senna uh, with the back end moving around in that car than I am with Mizenvo. However, the Senna's just got that little bit more front-end grip. McLaren is going to take victory. Zenvo claims an impressive second place, however. That is certainly not to be sniffed out whatsoever. Uh, where was the Apollo? The Apollo was down in six. I think it just got stuck in that fight and couldn't make progress forward uh, in this one. Very fast lap from the center down to 51s. Uh, <laughs> we were quicker than the Rimac, though. That does get a podium. That uh, beats the Regera, Devo, Apollo, LaFerrari. Holds on to seventh ahead of the speed tail. The Agera is a handful and a slidey handful at that down in ninth ahead of the Centenario and the Pagani Wara. As uh, identical lap times between the Centenario and the Wara at the back there. So we move on to our second race. The Bambara Coast Circuit is going to be the track where we take these cars around. Ooh! <laughs> well, the cars I'm most worried about are the cars starting first and second, the Apollo and the Senna. Bugger, I was hoping I might be able to have a little bit of a runaway around here. This track does work quite well for fast power cars, shall we say, straight line speed cars. Ah, say to an extent. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, really. Oh, we've also got, oh, well, the, the Senna and... Uh, Apollo, they're all going to get caught because the all-wheel drive cars are all starting quite far up as well. So, let's see how this goes. The Centenario, we know, is actually pretty good in the corners. It's just, it's so far down on power to a lot of these cars around here. It's like a straight line speed is going to hurt it. Uh, the Rimac is an absolute animal through the corners. We know that it's big. It's very, very heavy uh, compared to a lot of the cars in this. The Devo's not, the Devo's the best of the Bugattis. Um, but still quite understeer, although to be fair, so is the Zenvo. The Zenvo is quite an understeery car as well. Probably why I like it. Um, it is much lighter than the Bugatti, though, and does get stopped and turned quite well. Uh, the Apollo is giving the McLaren a lot of trouble, and I do expect that to be the case. The Senna drifted wide and clonked the wall there. The Devo we know is quick down the straights. The, the Apollo we know isn't. Uh, the Apollo is down on power compared to the likes of the Zenvo. Tell you what, the Devo doesn't even really get away from me that much down the straight. I, ha I was expecting more from the Bugatti, to be honest with you. Uh, the Sen is actually leading a little bit of a train at the moment. Uh, the Sen had a wheel on the grass. It gets sideways through there. Uh, oh, I want to try and fire past as long as, along with the Bugatti. The problem is the Apollo. So the Apollo's got all the grip in the world compared to us lot. Uh, however, it cannot match the sheer power. It's only about 700 horsepower, which is nothing compared to the 1,000 plus from my Zenvo, and however, I don't even remember how much the Devo has, but it's many. Ewan is really struggling with a slightly slidey McLaren 
for all of this section. Uh, right, here we go. Zenvo, use that power. I really need to clear both you and Speebies. I need to clear that McLaren. I need to clear that Apollo. I need to do it quite quickly uh, if I'm going to be able to do this, which I can't get done into turn one. Oh, <laughs> it's frustrating. We've definitely got speed in the Zenvo. I'll tell you what, if the front end of this car turned in just a little bit better, I think the Apollo's got this, to be honest with you. Um, I, lapped, I could probably get, again, if I could stay ahead of the Apollo, if I could have got there, uh, I could probably give them nightmares for being difficult to pass, but uh, I just don't quite have that front end grip. We are running away from the Rimac once again up here. Uh, this circuit, obviously, much more to the Devo's liking. I guess you don't quite have the same. Got a lot more stop-start corners for the Devo to use its traction. Uh, the Senna just doesn't have the traction out of some of these corners uh, that we're seeing from the likes of my Zenvo and the likes of the Devo. This time we are going to clear the McLaren. The Senna's got no answers to the straight line speed of the Zenvo. And it's just proven the slow speed corners are not working for that Senna. High speed stuff is untouchable. But once we get to these slower speed sections, the almost lack of traction in the Senna is giving it grief. Uh, can we catch the Devo before the end of the race? I think the Apollo's got this, actually. Uh, while it is slow down that... I say slow. We're talking in very relative speaking terms here. The Apollo is slow down that main start. Finish straight. Um, it's so good in these turns compared to the rest of us that it can just completely bugger off uh, <laughs> throughout these sections. Uh, I need the Devo... Almost, I need the Devo to have almost some trouble. It's quick. I will give it that much. Uh, it's got similar straight line speed to me and it's got the all-wheel drive traction out of these corners uh, while well, it doesn't have quite the mid-corner speed I don't quite have the mid-corner speed either that's the problem here uh, I want to try and be braver that's actually a terrible line through turn one both me and Danger Man made a mess of turn one uh, this time out uh, can I be good through here and this is where the Apollo made that pass for the lead it was a good pass for the lead uh, most definitely S2 cars are always difficult to race this sort of speed car there's the Devo struggling again for some grip we are now right on the bumper. I'm only going to have a lap, though, to try and find a way past. Can we do this? Where are we going to do this if we can? Uh, down towards turn one, maybe. Through this section, probably not, because the Devo's going to have the traction on the exit, although it understeers wide. Who is quicker out of the Devo and the Zenvo down the straight? Really? <laughs> That's not the answer I expected. I'm going to be honest with you. That is far from the answer that I expected from that little question. I'm impressed. The Rimac's actually got the center. I think the center may have made it. Oh, may have made a little mistake somewhere. We bumped the curb. That's bad. Speed tail's broken down. Uh, has a disconnection out of the race. Probably not the circuit the speed tail was enjoying, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we're going to loop our way around here. We can't match the Apollo, but we are clear of the Devo. There's a big old fight going on for fourth between that Senna and Rimac. And the Rimac's going to have so much speed down the start finish straight. Uh, yeah, these slow speed corners are not working for that Senna whatsoever. Working very well for the Apollo. Working surprisingly well for the Zenvo in this lot as well. We will punch our way towards the start finish line. The Bugatti cannot match us for pace. It's another second place for the Zenvo. An impressive, an impressive performance from that car. Only a few tenths down. On the, on the Apollo. Beats the Devo, beats the Rimac, and the Senna. La Ferrari is actually not that far away in terms of pace either. Neither was the Regera, for that matter. A lot of very, very close uh, lap time vehicles in this one. Here we go. I'll take a second place in that lot. Up next, we are heading to a drag race. Now, we are going to tackle the Juggernaut. Uh, seeing as the hypercars are more about that uh, top-end, high-end speed, uh, we've come to the longest drag race that we can do in Horizon 4. Admittedly, it does involve a couple of corners along the way. I'm not full of confidence here, if I'm honest. We're going to say goodbye to the Rimac. We're going to say probably goodbye to both the Conan Segs. The speed tail should score some points here. Um... I don't have the greatest top speed, although the Apollo is going to hurt a lot more than I am. Uh, we don't have the all-wheel drive launch. You, get, you can see the Rimac's gone, the Devo's gone. Centenario goes for a little while, and then that's going to run out of power as the speed tail uh, comes on strong. Here comes the Zenvo. We're looking for a way past. We do get clear of the Apollo. The Senna's not very quick down the straight. Again, it's not built for this kind of thing. Uh, we are trying to, try to follow the speed tail a little bit. Uh, down through all of this, uh, through all of this section. See, this, that Zenvo is kind of quick in the races, but I'm not sure in an out-and-out -out drag race. I don't think it's quite working. But the LaFerrari has managed 
to pull itself back ahead. Can't really see in the distance too well. The Pagani's tried to jump. Oh, Pagani's made a big mistake through that section. The Warriors had a problem. And they, it is the Rimac that's leading the way. It's going to be Rimac followed by Aguera, then Regera, then Speedtail. I've kind of been sat in a little bit of a no man's land watching zone in all of that with the Zenvo. I did think it might get a little bit more speed from the Zenvo than we did there, if I'm honest with you. Centenario uh, beats the Apollo. Well, the Senna was struggling already. Uh, may have had a little... Uh, trouble somewhere along the line in the wire. We still have a big odd off. But yes, it is Rimac followed by the two Conan says That Rimac is so fast down the straights. It's just ridiculous. The speed tail does get a decent result here. The best result for the speed tail so far up in fourth ahead of the Devo. I mean, we saw the Zenvo actually outdrag the Devo in a race, but down here, not quite, not quite, not quite the top end. Now, our fourth and final test for the vehicles, the good old 0 to 100 to 0. So this tests not only acceleration, traction, but also the braking abilities of the cars. Now, the Zenvo, I mean, it's, it seems to be better in racing situations than it does in a drag racing situation, if you like. Uh, we are up to the 100 mile an hour mark. We're on the brakes again. We get the car stopped and the Zenvo does set the benchmark for this one. So we're going to jump into drone mode and have a little bit of a... Uh, a fly around with this. Now we do have the Larry cars going next, shall we say. Uh, we have got the Regera. Now we're sending these cars off fairly early because they're likely to wander. Uh, they're rather difficult to stay in their lanes. Rather very difficult to stay in their lanes. So it's a good run from the Regera actually. Gets on the brakes and does get stopped uh, very quickly indeed. Okay, a good showing from that uh, from that Koenigsegg. And then we have the Rimac that's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, but that's silly. <laughs> That is the Rimac, 0 to 100 to 0. That's unbelievable. Centenario also quite nice and controlled, the all-wheel drive Lamborghini. It might not have the power or top end at some of the other stuff, but here it can be quite good. Uh, then we're going to have the speed tail with the waggly tail. Uh, basically with the waggly tail, never mind the speed tail, we're going to go. Uh, <laughs> gets it stopped. It's a little... It's still did pretty well, all things considered, considering how leery the car was and how many lanes it travelled over. Uh, it still did pretty well to get stopped where it did. The Senna's going to go next, of course. This is a little bit more suitable for the Senna. It is very light. Uh, has got very, very good brakes. And I mean, all of these cars have got very good brakes and everything. But uh, there we go. LaFerrari, that will go. And next, that comes skidding to a hole. Actually, all very close in this uh, midsection. Did I beat the LaFerrari? It's pretty close. I actually think the Ferrari may have beaten me. Uh, we have the Apollo. That does get stopped. Uh, perhaps a little bit more composure off the line than we got from the Zenvo in all of this. Well, it's actually not looking so great for the Zenvo out here. Uh, then we have the Aguera. Uh, sorry, the Regera. No, is the Aguera. Bloody similar car names. The Aguera RS. Uh, no traction in that car, but mighty powerful and some very good packs. The Wara has a very good run, actually, in this one. That one gets stopped. Actually beats the Apollo. And then finally, we've got the Devo. That all-wheel drive launch is very, very helpful for that car. It's a good run for the Devo, actually. That's a very good run for the Devo. That looks like it's going to be a second place. Actually beats the Senna. Uh, it is, this is probably impressive. Now we have the uh, sort of flyback. So the Speedtail would go furthest. Uh, I mean, it is actually quite close, but all the cars are fairly close. Speedtail will go a little bit further than that. Uh, Regera. Then we have my Zenvo. I didn't have the cleanest of runs, but... Uh, yeah, we just struggle a little bit with that car. Uh, and then, I say, it's not much until you start finding the LaFerrari. The Apollo is here as well. Look at that wonderful machine. I, I'm slightly biased towards the Apollo, I'm sorry. Uh, we then have the, uh, the Wara. That would come next. We then have a very, very close battle between the Centenario and the Aguera. Uh, the Aguera, yes. My brain stopped working slightly. The Centenario would beat it just that all-wheel drive launch. Good for the Lamborghini. The McLaren Senna uh, goes the best of the rear-wheel drive cars, claiming a third place. Then we have the Bugatti, the Devo, uh, is quicker launching and stopping than that Centenario. And then in a different postcode, we find the Rimac. It's a bit sim I think the gap between the whole field from the speed tail to the Devo would fit in the gap between the Rimac and the Devo. That's how it's absurd is the Rimac. It really is. Uh, despite being such a heavy machine, uh, it is crazy, crazy far. You can see there's the rest of the field and then there's a Rimac watching it. I think with the rest of the field is one of the oh, it's very, very close spread. But uh, on to the all important points totals. And well, victory is going to go the way of the Rimac. Its straight line speed was just too good. The straight line speed on that thing is so phenomenal that even though it struggled a little bit on the circuits, I mean, it would get mid-pack on the circuits, but it was so fast on the straights. Um, yeah. That thing's a monster. Perhaps one of the biggest surprises of Bugatti Devo, that would go into second place ahead of the McLaren Senna. Is the battle for second was very, very close between the Devo, the Senna, 
and the Zenvo. The Apollo would take fifth. It's that uh, lack of top end, really, for the Apollo that killed it. Despite the fact it's probably one of the best handling cars here, through the corners, it's probably the fastest car, uh, but just couldn't quite compete on the on the drag races and the faster circuits get stuck in traffic. Uh, we then have the two Koenigseggs actually score identical points. The Agera would get it uh, on the basis of a higher, higher finishing position, getting a second in the motorway drag race. Yeah, the Agera beating out that Regera. The LaFerrari representing the old guard, if you will, of the of the hypercars would get eighth. It was it was competitive with a lot of stuff. It just never quite excelled at any of them. Uh, so kind of a uh, little bit of kind of average points over all of the all of the rounds. But it still put up a good fight in these. The Centenario lacks the top end. Uh, the all-wheel drive is helpful, but really does lack that top end. The speed tail just doesn't really work. Not when there's even a slightest bit of a corner involved. Quick down the straights, but not quite good enough. And then we have uh, the Wara uh, down at the bottom. A little unlucky in places, but there we go. So, I mean, conclusion-wise, the Rimac is the winner. Uh, the, the Rimac is the winner here. It is brutally fast down the straight. Any circuit that has even a hint of straight-line speed stuff, that car is going to be a monster. Is it nice to drive? No, not really. I don't personally like the Rimac to drive, particularly. It's too big, too heavy. Well, let's say it's, it's, it's very heavy. It's a little bit unresponsive and... It's not the nicest thing in the world to drive. Thing is, it's bloody fast. It is bloody fast indeed, and it is the winner of this one. Uh, the biggest surprise for me uh, has to go to the Bugatti. I, I've got to say, I did not expect to see the Devo do this well. In fact, nobody was really expecting to see the Devo do this well here. Um, okay, all-wheel drive helps a little bit. You know, the, the all-wheel drive traction is, is a useful thing. Sure, in the 0 to 100 0 perhaps, um, but nobody expected this to be able to carry the sort of quarter speed that did. Yes, it's a bit understeery. However, overall, it was able to. It was very competitive at the circuits. It was able to make good speed, and then when it came to the drag races, uh, also scored very, very good points. So, yeah, th in some regards, you know, for me, that is one of the biggest surprises of all of this is the uh, the Devo managing to work its way up, up into a second place. Not at all what we were looking for. Uh, the Senna, well, that would uh, claim a third position. Perhaps less of a surprise, this one doing well at the end of the day. It is a very, very quick car. Yes, it lacks top-end speed. It can be a bit lethal on the uh, slower corners. There is no doubt about it. It can be a little bit of a handful, but a phenomenally, phenomenally fast car, uh, nevertheless. So perhaps not too surprising to see the Senna uh, battling right up there. Certainly the most improved award goes to the Zenvo. The, whatever the original one was, ST was, I don't know. The original one was, I loved it, but it was an animal, basically. This thing is damn fast. This thing is very, very fast indeed. I mean, around the circuits, it was right up there with the very fastest of the cars. It does lack maybe a little tiny bit of refinement that you find in some of the others uh, when it comes to you know, the launch, for example. But uh, low speed grip on that car is is absolutely phenomenal for what it is. Could put on a very, very good show. I mean, it's right up there with the Senna and the Devo. The one I'd have, it's still the Apollo. It's, <laughs> despite the fact I watched how badly the Apollo gets murdered by everything down the straights, how much it can get stuck in traffic on races where it could be very fast but cars can't overtake, it'd still be the Apollo. Um, it drives so very nicely. Uh, it is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful car to drive. No, it doesn't quite have the top speed of the Rimac, the Devo, and Nedge for anything else here, but it's so much nicer to drive. And it looks ridiculous. I don't know. The Zenvo is a very, very close second, I must say, in the terms of which ones I would like. Um, I, I am very, very impressed with the Zenvo. Uh, and the Zenvo is actually a very nice car to drive. It's quite understeer, but it is a nice car to drive. The Apollo is just an absolute monster. However, we were not just quite finished yet with these cars. Now, to finish off, we are going to have a little bit of fun. A little bit of a silly race. We've got some of the fastest, some of the most powerful cars in the world and are going to drive them around the Ambleside Village circuit, which is one of the smallest, nastiest and twistiest circuits there are in the game. I feel sorry for Liam with the speed tail, Gliska with the Regera, um... The Centenario might actually stand a really good chance of winning here. Centenario and Devo are probably going to be very quick, just all-wheel drive traction. Now, my Zenvo may be the best of the rear-wheel drive cars from what we have seen in terms of traction. I don't know what the likes of the LaFerrari is going to be. Bloody hell, there's a Rimac that's launched itself into the Turn 1 wall. Oh, the Apollo is also putting them quite good here. I don't know what the traction is like in the Apollo, but the grip from that Apollo is likely to be uh, immense, is probably the word I'm going to use here. Uh, we're going to... Oh, the Devo got oversteer? 
in a weird place, and that guy's having a lot of trouble. Oversteer or pinged up a wall or something. But Senna's got the lead. Now he's still, oh, we're now out of ghost mode. No farting around with that. Yeah, we've seen the Senna struggle with the low speed stuff at the Bambara circuit. Much better at the high speed stuff. The Devo's turned back up again. Of course, that all wheel drive traction. All wheel drive traction, but it is a heavy car. Let's not forget that. It is a heavy car that's not going to necessarily like these slower corners. And we can box it in between the uh, Senna and Zenvo. Uh, we can howl away towards the first corner. Of course, my top speed advantage over the Senna doesn't really come into play here. Uh, <laughs> sadly, there goes the Senna with some oversteer that I don't really get in my car. Uh, we're going to sneak our way past. Senna's back there having a look underneath. Uh, Senna is going to have a good uh, look underneath there. He's not going to make that one stick. Uh, where has the Apollo gone? Uh, this thing with the Apollo is it could well be stuck in traffic again. That is the downside with that car. Uh, when you have the handling car in the power field, uh, <laughs> you get stuck sat in traffic looking at other cars uh, and you can't find a way through necessarily. Uh, we've got to just hold on at this moment in time. The center is right behind us. The Devo is right behind that McLaren. I'm a little bit worried about the Bugatti. If it struggles to pass the center, I might be okay. I think I've got the center in terms of pace, only by a tiny margin but I think I have got the Senna in terms of pace. I'm surprised we did expect the Centenario to maybe do a little bit... Oh, I'd say it is up in sixth, but considering it's a long way down in terms of PI here. We did think maybe it would fare a little better around this sort of circuit. I uh, didn't have a helpful grid spot particularly for this one. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. The Wara's the had a bad time. I looks like it may have hit the building or missed a checkpoint. It's so far back. Uh, it is possible around around this circuit. It's the reason why I don't really use the circuit very often. It's very easy to either wander wide and hit a, hit a building, hit a wall, or get pushed wide and so on. Uh, we have now got the Bugatti for company, which is... Oh, we actually bounced very awkwardly out of that one. That's not very fun. Which is not... I didn't really want to see the Devo behind me, if I'm honest. That, I'm a little concerned about. Ah, oh, the Senna's missed a checkpoint as well. <laughs> Puts the Apollo up to third, although the Apollo is a long, long way back in this one. I'm impressed with this Zenvo. I'm really, really impressed with this Zenvo so far. Uh, <laughs> it's doing some really bloody good work at the moment. Uh, Alright, let's get stopped and slowed down. It is going to probably just be defending from the Devo. As great as the traction is in this car, it's not going to be all-wheel drive, and that is the truth. Uh, the Devo... The, I mean, you, it's so difficult to overtake around here if there isn't a mistake. Uh, the Devo is going to want to find a way past. He's going to be looking every which way. Uh, however, I'm too good out of the final corner in this car. I've got too much traction. I'm too quick. That turn one is not going to be an option. Your other best bet is this corner coming up here, which again, I have the traction to pull away. We can get far enough away that there's just nothing the Devo can do, and the Apollo is too far back at the moment. Uh, there's a big old scrap in the middle of the field. Uh, the Centenario is up to fifth. It is doing well. I guess that's where the, the Senna missed its checkpoint and fell back. I don't know where the Senna quite fell to. The Devo hit the wall, trying to carry speed, trying to find a way past. Uh, that will be the Devo out. It had to do something. It is the final lap of the race, which is fair enough. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, let's say we'd all, we would all do similar as it's desperately looking for a way past. It is going to be a victory. The first Zenvo victory is going to come on the silly circuit. I knew the Zenvo had good traction. He's remarkably good on the old traction front. 44.8 from me is quicker than the Devo. Actually quicker than the Apollo as well. Um, oh no, sorry, the Devo does beat me. We're both in the 44.8s. We're the only two cars in the 44s, faster than the Senna. Uh, we're talking fractions, tiny fractions of a second different between us. Uh, I think we could have annoyed the um, Devo for a lot of that race. The bits where the Devo is quick, it can't overtake, and the bits where I'm quick, I'm just far enough away. Basically, I keep getting out of range of the Devo when it would be able to overtake me. So, that was a fun little race. Zenvo came good. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.